Like, seriously, you ready? I'm just, I'm just stationary, you know? Stationary. Boom! Oh, out of nowhere! Flying through the wall! Whoa! Two, three, two, three. Let's go now! What is up, guys? Mr. Miola here, back playing Scrap Mechanic today. And I have a very, very special creation to show you guys. This creation is the fastest creation I have ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. In fact, I'm 90% sure I'm about to be driving the fastest creation, I'm going to say it, in Scrap Mechanic history. This thing is like a bullet. This thing is faster than a bullet. This thing is... I, I, I can't even explain this thing. This creation is absolutely amazing, all right? This is made by a guy called Crook, okay? Crook. Remember that name because when people are thinking of the fastest vehicle in Scrap Mechanic, the first name I want to hear come to their head is Crook because he has created this absolute beast. Check this thing out, all right? Check this thing out. You're probably thinking, what in the world is that? I'll tell you what it is. The fastest vehicle in the world. This thing is insane. Insane. Now, you probably remember the Around the World video, the Around, the Around the World challenge that Menace uh, challenged us to. We beat him. We got a time just under one minute. This vehicle travels around the scrap mechanic world in 25 seconds. That's the record set by the creator. 25 seconds. That's over. It's under half of what we did it in. But enough talking about this thing. I've had enough talking about it. I want to actually drive the thing and show you the power of this vehicle. There is nothing like it. There is nothing like it. I, 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 I don't know. Have a look at it. Have a look at it. Have a look at it. We're gonna, we're gonna let it. We're gonna sit, let it sit there for a bit. Just gain its stability, and when it's stable, we'll hop on and take this thing for a test drive. So you can probably get a gist of it already. It's, it's a mechanic I've never seen done in scrap mechanic. Look at these springs. Look at those springs. I, the first time I looked at this, I literally sat here for 10 minutes staring at it like, how does it do that? I, I, I know now, it's basically like a block, spring, and block, which connects to another spring, which connects to another, like, it's kind of like an S-shaped S type of thing. Anyways, the thing's stabilized now. Loosey goosey, look at this thing. It's a wacky wobbler. We're going to go jump up onto the driver's seat now. And uh, I'm going to show you the potential of this beast. I wish it had a name. All I know is it's the fastest freaking vehicle on earth, and I think that's a good enough name for me. So here we go, guys. I'm just gonna go beeline straight ahead and try and dodge that tree. And, 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 and I don't even know. Here we go. In three, in two, in one, let's go! Yeah, okay. The world can't even load fast enough for this vehicle. The vehicle moves that fast the world can't even load it in. Dude. Like, seriously. You ready? I'm just, I'm just stationary. You know, stationary. Boom! Oh, out of nowhere. Flying through the wall. Whoa. Into walls and stuff. What the hell? It thing kind of gets a bit funny when it rams into stuff. <laughs> I think it's kind of a little bit broken right now. But it's doing all right. It's holding in there, you know. And it's actually got a button that you press on it. That sort of balances it out. The thing is, I got a feeling one of the uh, one of the suspension glitches has kind of bugged out. Sometimes, like the, the the suspension kind of locks under itself, and it just controls the vehicle that way. So let's go and let this thing work itself out again. In fact, I'm just going to jump straight in because why not? So when you press one, it actually ducks the bottom down, and that's oh god, you, there is no slight movements in this vehicle. It's all, it's freaking all, and you're like, oh my god, fly through, oh my god, and of course, we're stuck in a tree, and once you're stuck in a tree with this thing, I mean, you proved me wrong again, I was gonna say once you're stuck in a tree, you are in that tree for good, but look at that, one little, one little tap of the thrusters, boom, you're out of there, buddy, you're out of there, so it's just amazing, it's just amazing. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I gotta stop ramming into walls. The amazing thing about this vehicle isn't only its speed, but just how, like, stationary it stays. It just sits there. It just sits there. And, like, it's level. Like, no matter... Let's go and just play with it very softly, right? It's it's level. No matter what you're, like, driving over. In fact, I want to kind of... That's not really what I had in mind. I wanted to take it through the mountains and really see 
how well the thing controls. So let's go and uh, let's go and replace this thing. So uh, jump in there. Okay. So it just seems that it just stays up no matter what is sort of like riding on. Like the the suspension is just so tight or so soft. It's probably soft. I don't really know, but it just stays level. And of course, we're bouncing off of trees left, right, and center right now. Of course, I decided of all the places on the map to drive, I want to go through a forest. But it's just okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Bad examples. I know. I know. But the point that I'm trying to make. Is this probably the coolest vehicle I've ever seen? In Scrap Mechanic, of course. In Scrap Mechanic. It's the coolest Scrap Mechanic video... video blah, 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 blah. It's the coolest Scrap Mechanic vehicle I've definitely ever seen. It beats my own unicycle. I'll even give it that. I'll even give it that. So, what I want to do now is I want to take it back to the outside. And I want to see what sort of score, what sort of time we can get doing the Around the World Challenge. I want to see what we're capable of in this vehicle so the current record is actually 28 seconds with this vehicle i don't think that's been beaten that that's that's got to be a world record right there we're going to try and beat that record with this vehicle so for those of you who don't know the around the world challenge basically you just got to go to all four corners of the map as close as you can you don't want to cut too much of the corners you can cut a little bit just nothing too crazy and uh basically yeah you got to make all four lengths and uh, see how fast you can do that. Let's go and chuck our new and improved little timer at the bottom of the screen back up. We press one. Let me just go and test it. It works. Reset with the three. Fantastic. So let's do this, guys. Let's do it. So first things first, got to face the, the right direction. We're all stabilized. We're all looking pretty darn good right now. I guess let's do this, guys. I'm pretty ready. In three, in two, in one. Here we go. We went. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops indeed. All right. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, I thought I had that tree. I thought I hit that tree for a second. No, but we hit that tree instead. Let's try this again. Hopefully without hitting anything this time. That would be lovely. Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's one length. Can we actually uh, flatten out yet? Yes, yes, yes. Go, 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 go. Not quite, not quite what I had in mind. Not quite what I had in mind right now. <laughs> and go! Oh, wow. I think we break it. I think we break it. Maybe we didn't break it. We somehow wedged this thing inside of a rock. Oh my god, the lag, the lag. It's too much. It's too much. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. I reckon this is the one. Probably not. Probably not. We just hit a rock. We just hit a rock. Not looking too good. Well, <sighs> look at that. It just flips by itself. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're kind of broken. So I give up. I give up. I give up. Okay. So there's one more thing I actually want to test. And that is this. You can actually enter a function called debug. All you got to do is hit, hit enter and type slash debug. If we look under my face, you can see me type it in right there. And what happens is when we do this, it's going to come up with a bunch of information on the screen. And one of those things I think is character velocity. Yes. So character velocity there. And as you can see, when we move, I think it's about the sixth one down. As you can see, when we move, the number increases. Basically, this number translates into a speed. I'm pretty sure that number is meters per second. But on Crux video, in the description of the video, there's actually a translation where it translates that number into kilometers per hour and miles per hour. And uh, you can actually find out exactly how you're going. So I just want to watch that number and see how, how high we can get it. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. 300 okay 385 385 is the fastest i just saw 385 let's see if we can get it if we're going even further this time here we go here we go okay character velocity three we couldn't do it three 430 420 i saw 420 420 blaze it baby um 530 i saw four i saw 528 i saw 528 and according to his scale his scale only goes up to 389. 
So I'm pretty sure we went over a thousand kilometers an hour just then. 100. We went over 1500 kilometers an hour. I gotta test that. I gotta test that on the floor without flying. I gotta test that on the floor without flying. Let's watch that ca character velocity. Here we go. Here we go. 304. We keep going off track. As soon as we hit that like 400 region, we just bam. We just whack it hard. Well. I'm going to try and catch this vehicle. <laughs> oh, well, that was a lot of fun, guys. I'm glad I could show you this video. Uh, make sure to head over to Karak's video. There's going to be a link on the top corner of this video and in the description down below where you can head over and download this vehicle for yourself. This is the fastest vehicle in Scrap Mechanic. And I don't think anything is going to top this anytime soon. I don't think it gets any faster than this. It's bloody insane. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Remember to go ahead to Crux's channel. Go check out his video where you can find the download for this as well. But most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.